Hey friends, it's Priya Katrin here. I'm excited to share with you one of the big, major, if not the biggest key to my own breakthrough for healing that happened, gosh, five years ago now. Um, the beginning of it, really. So if you don't know me, my name is Priya Katrin. I love to share my story and encourage others. I help people with their own healing journeys through one-to-one -one coaching. And also um, in classes, I have my own neuroplasticity program that's based in truth and reality and relationship with God, with Jesus Christ and the word of God. And I, and I also have another group coaching class that I do as well for those who are already on their brain or training journey. And I do one-to-one -one coaching and I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that I get to be um, able to just share out of the abundance of what God's grace and mercy has done in my own life with others to encourage you to keep going. So a word for today, I encourage you to keep going with him. I promise you it gets better. I promise you that those symptoms go down and go away. I promise you that you will see things all through a new lens. You will see and taste the goodness of God in the land of the living. You will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Don't give up on what he says is true, what he promises you. I, I promise you it'll all be worth it and it'll make sense in the end when he is able to take you out of this. So don't give up on him. This could be your day. This could be a day for major, major breakthrough. In fact, why don't I just go ahead and pray really quickly because I want to make sure that I get into this breakthrough number one. But Lord, I just thank you so, so much for the people that are here right now listening to my channel. Bring more, Lord. Bring them to listen to reality, Lord, of just your love, your piercing love, your passion, Jesus, your truth, God, that you are our Lord and our Savior. You redeem us from the pit. You set us on a whole new life, a new creation life. We can walk with you and do life with you, Lord. So I just pray today for lights to turn on and hearts and minds and people to hear Ah, hear you, Lord, see you, Lord, see beyond just, just this physical realm into all the spiritual realities of who you are and what you do and your presence here with us, our union with you when we choose to, to put our, um, to invite you, Jesus, into our hearts. So I just pray over those who are listening, Lord, that whatever is from you today, you bring it to their remembrance. And I just pray for all the, just for that the the lies that 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 bondage especially to fear to just fall in the name of jesus just fall down just like those prison walls that are up to just we raise a hallelujah and we just we just know that um yeah those prison walls are coming down in jesus name amen all right so key to breakthrough number one is definitely i commit to a life with jesus to do life with jesus and really i like to add on to this and to stay the course, because this is truly a daily after day after day after day decision over and over and over again, and you will reap the fruit of it. You sow and you reap and it will happen. So I had to make the choice as I was saying in my first video about this, like where I was at with atheism and coming to a spiritual reality where I was like, whoa, recognizing I have to step away from living out of those wrong filters. I have to filter everything through Jesus Christ. And I have to commit to this way because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And as I was saying, that's the truth that sets you free. And if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where he is, where he is my Lord, there is liberty. And I really realized that I have to commit to do my life with him. I don't get an option anymore. I don't. Like, it's none of us do. We have to commit to do a life with him and not in independence and not in our old ways and not in our own and own understanding. We have to do it Jesus way. So I had to make that intentional shift to commit now to him <laughs> that, and I understood, I did know as I commit my life to Jesus, like what he's promising me is far better. This isn't even a sacrifice. It's he's, he's asking me to come with my crap that I think is that I want <laughs> and that I think is going to be good for me. And he's like, let me tell you how amazing it's going to be when you walk with me, girl. So I had to step away from these old belief systems and I really had to new and learn a whole new way of thinking, but it wasn't just about thinking. It isn't just about thinking. 
I had to choose Christ. I had to choose bonding with the Lord. I had to use, choose a relationship with the Lord. I had to choose to trust him. I was seeing it all over the world, world, word, that especially he says, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your paths. And he says his paths are paths. He's going to lead us. He's going to lead us in the, the way. He tells us you got to come if you're going to lose your life. Like he's going to give you, give you amazing things. I just so much here and in the future. Yes, eternal life in the future. I get that. But he is promising you a life with him where your heart's desire to be with the one that made you all the time. Ah, anyway, I had to make a commitment and that what that did is spiritually the climate of my heart was shifting. It's like all of a sudden as I was doing this committing to, to the Lord, to Jesus, to do this life, I was now attracting heaven to me like a magnet, the activity of heaven as I'm making this choice to do this life with him subconsciously in a, in a, in a physical way of saying it, um, subconsciously as I'm making a choice to change, my subconscious mind is already starting to receive a signal to change and change is what we want. Change is what God wants. He wants us to be transformed, to be changed, right? To be metamorphosized into, from that caterpillar into that butterfly, to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Okay. So I knew it's not, it's, I can't just make this choice once. And it's a commitment. The word, the word that he used for me, Psalm 37, five, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Commit your way to the Lord. Don't just dabble. Don't just choose one day and then go do it your own way. He told us we can't be double-minded. We have to commit to the side, cut off the other way, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him. Trust in him. Trust. How do you trust somebody? You got to you gotta get to know them. Huh. You got to bond with them. There needs to be this love that's exchanged between you and them of knowing that they're safe to trust, that they take care of you, that they have want good things for you, right? We're not going to trust somebody that's not trustworthy. We need to trust somebody who can actually do what they say they're going to do. And that's the Lord. So trust also in the Lord and he shall bring it to pass. Not maybe sometime he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring it to pass, man. So good. So that word, he kept whispering to me these words and he did it in a way that was full of so much love. I realized that trust was major like some, Sorry, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells us. This is telling me the same thing. There's so many words in the Bible that talk about trusting him. And I knew the only way to trust him <clears throat> was through a love relationship, which I had learned very much from a scientific standpoint. If you've never heard me say this before, I'll say it really quickly, that I had learned that in the animal kingdom, I learned this at Princeton, studying animal behavior, that um, when, when mom has baby in the mammal, the mammalian world, both of them are a boatload, I would say a boatload, of uh, oxytocin is dumped out. It's called the trust hormone in the animal kingdom. It's what we think of as a love drug. And this bonding takes place. And I was understanding very much that I need to bond with him to trust him. I need to bond in this love. I need to, like a mama and a baby or a father and a baby, a husband and a wife, where there needs to be this trust that happens. So I knew this was this intimacy this time of getting to know God was so important. So that I knew that the trust was important. Obviously, I knew that that was going to take time. And I knew that there was an old background song, like an old record playing, that was not one of knowing that I'm loved and that he's trustworthy and that I can let go. So I was like, well, we need to change that song. And so thankful along my journey that coming to um, read the Passion Translation, I'm so going off course, but I hope this helps somebody. It is still along the lines of committing to do your life with Jesus, because in order to commit to do my life with Jesus, I got to want to do my life with Jesus and want to do wanting to do my life with Jesus means I need to know his, his love and that I, you know, in this love exchange that we have a love affair that we could have. So song of songs in the passion translation is life transforming because it brings it all alive. And it's all about the journey of, any of us who decide to put our faith in Jesus and have a relationship with him, it's the journey that we go on. I love how the title is Song of Songs because it's the 
it's the, the the song of all songs. It's the best song ever sung. It's it's the love song of all songs. I was like, well, I need a love song in the back of my heart, in the background of my heart all the time. And so I knew that this, anyway, this song that's in the Song of Songs has absolutely been something that's been so life-giving to come to know the Lord in such a deep way, to commit to do your life with Jesus. Because when you do it this way, you are going to have a hard, much harder time being taken off of the rock of Jesus Christ, where you can stand there and say, "Mm -mm, not going anywhere without Jesus. He wants me. I'm going his way. He's got the best for me. So this was key and still is a key to my life is committing to my life with Jesus, not, not visiting, not just doing a devotional and getting up and living my own life, like life with Jesus. And, and I thought of in my healing as the, uh, the time that I was doing my, my visualizations, my rounds, which were my prayer time. Um, was three times a day. It was like meals. Like I was receiving my manna, my bread. So this daily commitment to do life with Jesus was a major, major decision that I have never looked back on. And since the day that I made that decision five years ago, more than five years ago, I have never changed my mind. And I have only seen more and more life happen in me, through me, around me, with those around me. And I'm doing a life with Jesus. Um, yeah, so that is key, number one, to my breakthrough, to commit to do a life with Jesus and not ever consider anything else because anything else is less than the best. Anything else means I'm stepping out of his grace. I'm stepping away from the light and I'm easily going to be deceived into lies and darkness. So I pray that blesses you guys and I'll be back with more of my breakthroughs soon. God bless.